Guess what? It's Holly's big day out today. I'm going solo out to the town, living at large, and no one can stop me. Look at that view. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah. Today we're gonna hopefully go on the steam train. I thought about going pottery painting, but then I thought it probably won't be like made in time, will it? Like put in the oven, so so I thought I had the train going for it, but it's just more cleaning his teeth. Do you want to see my current wardrobe that we're working with? Here's clean washing, other washing, dirty washing his stuff. Apple Watch needs to go on, obviously, because is there any point walking if you can't track it? Yes, obviously there is. I sometimes need someone else to say, you need to go on that walk. Today it's the Apple Watch that's telling me to do that. Okay, actually thinking about it, I probably need to put my pants on off camera. Admittedly, I have just taken these leggings out of the dirty wash pile, but I feel like they're kind of dirty and I'm about to go on a walk, which is going to be a bit muddy, so like, surely they're not. That's fine. I'm actually not bothered about not having boobs. I remember once I randomly had some because I think it's because I'd gone on the pill or something. It was like when I was like 21 maybe, I randomly got these boobs and I put this push-up bra on so I had these boobs and I was like, oh, and I really didn't like it. And I thought this is funny because I spent my whole life wanting that. And then I had it and then I was like, oh, this doesn't look right. I mean, yeah, sometimes like when I wear this, I'm like, Jesus. My mum's still like, they'll come in. And I'm like, mum, I'm 29. I really expect them to come in. Oh, this definitely needs a wash. I always get loads of compliments on this. This is my Tala uh, jacket situation. I'm going to clean my teeth, then go on the walk, and then we can get started on planning this mega day. I feel like I'm really hyping the day up. I hope it's going to be good. <laughs> Rory's cool and also didn't get up my white top. I've decided I'm going to get the steam train from Payton to somewhere, then I'm going to get the steam train back and then I think I'm going to do some pottery painting. So I haven't actually done many things like this where I go out and do things on my own. Usually I like my own company but I like it in my own space, like I like to just like play sims or something but I would never think to like go out for the day on my own. When plans are made I'm a bit more of a follower than a leader. Normally it's someone else that's like, okay, we need to be here at this time, I'll go to this place, whatever. And I'm just like, okay, cool, I'll be there. Like, I'm not normally the person that's like making the plans. <laughs> I did a video on TikTok this morning where I was talking about all the things that I wish I knew, or I wish I'd like thought about when I was in my early 20s, or not my early 20s. And I don't know whether you guys would like an actual long version of that on, on YouTube. Do you like a get ready with me maybe and then talk about the things that I wish that I'd done or knew when I was in my early 20s? Because... I feel like my early 20s and my mid 20s, it was all just a little bit of a shit show. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you guys want on here. What do you want? Do you like long videos talking about things or do you prefer just like snippets of my life? Not that the snippets of my life are very interesting. That's one thing I've never done YouTube before is because I just think I'm not interesting enough. Like, I don't really do that much. Like today's the big day out. We're going on a steam train. <laughs> These people on this train must be like, why is this random 29 year old getting on a steam train at 11 a.m. on a Thursday night? Like, is she not got anything to do? <laughs> no, babe, I haven't got anything to do. It's really weird working for yourself. Like, I just always feel like I could be doing more. Like, at least when I worked in my normal job, I'd have like a deck I had to work on or something. And I knew that then after that, that was done, then I know when my next task was coming. Like, and I knew how much I had to do. Whereas with this, because I'm just always wanting to make things better for you guys, or I want to like move on to different platforms or do something that's new and cool and interesting. It's like, there's just like a never ending to-do list. And it's so weird because I sit there and I'm like, okay, what should I get on with? And I'm like, oh, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. And then I get so overwhelmed with all the options of what I could do that I end up doing nothing. And I'm like, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? I bloody love this stuff. Um, my friend at work, Alice, oh, oh, my old job actually. It's so funny that I still call my old job my work, even though I've been there for like six months. Um, but she introduced me to this because I was going to get the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I was like, oh, it's 25 quid and is it actually that good? She was like, babe, you need to get back on the Barry M Dazzle Dust. So I use this in shade 39, I think. I think it's called like rose gold or something. And it's so nice if you've got like bluey, greeny eyes. Oh, maybe I should sort out my eyebrows. Oh, can I be asked? Probably not. Like what do I do when I'm on the steam train? Like it feels it feels rude to be like going on my phone when I'm on it, but I'm on it for like half an hour. Like do I just admire the views? Do I take a book? Maybe I take a book. I hope you can't hear Rory having a wee in the background. He's not having a wee in here, just the bathroom's connecting. 
I'm looking a bit crusty. I think maybe they didn't put any moisturiser on. I think that was an error, but it's also an error that I'm not going to rectify because I can't be asked. And there we go. This is the train look. I just realised I hadn't put any deodorant on. And these kind of social situations are the things that make me sweat. So if there is ever a time that I'm going to need deodorant, it's right now. Guys, I couldn't catch you up until now because everything's gone wrong. <laughs> so I decided I was going to get the 11.55 train. I booked the tickets so late that I could only get the train tickets that were at the 12 whatever time. Then I left and I still had time to spare. I was 10 minutes late, but I'd left so much time to spare. Got in the car, no petrol. And then I went to the petrol station. It was like ancient times. It took four years for me to fill up the pump. Honestly, my hand was like shaking by the end of it of having to hold it down. Still could have made it, right? I still had five minutes to make it onto the train. Not that I even had a ticket for this train, actually. So I actually might never have got on it, but whatever. Then no parking spaces in any of the car parks. So now I'm just parked in a random town with an hour to kill. Do you know what actually with time? Time is never in my favour. I'm either killing time or I don't have any time. Like, I'm never perfectly somewhere at the right time. But one thing I can definitely do is kill time. But the only problem is killing time for me is also spending money. And that's why I can kill so much time because I can spend money so easily. Also, when I was paying for doing the petrol, some of the petrol must have leaked from a car before and it got my foot and my foot slippery and now my car stinks of petrol. Ah! Oh, I really want to turn around and just go home but I can't because then this vlog's pointless. I'm looking at the shops that I've got on offer. Glenda Vaughan Furnishes, I could look at some flooring and some furniture. I've got a Chinese takeaway. I've got a mini market and a butcher's, which is great as I'm a vegetarian. It turns out with some kind of weird fate that naturally I actually got the time wrong. I'm actually on time and would have been late if I did go and stroll on the town. So I'm pleased I actually checked that. It's not like me to actually check anything. But yeah, my train's actually at 12.25 and it's currently 12.05 and I'm 10 minutes away. So I think somehow I've managed to also be late again. I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing, but everyone's watching the train, so I thought hey, I should watch it as well. I'll let you guys watch it too. We had a last minute panic. I got to the train station, but the actual train station, but not the scene train one. I looked at my email, which I thought was a ticket, and it was like, this is not a ticket, it's neither. You need to get your ticket 20 minutes before departure. There was 10 minutes before departure, and I was like, surely I haven't missed a second train. But I haven't. Well, I, I still could miss it to be fair. Oh, actually, I'm going to the wrong bit. Oh, this is my carriage. Wait, sorry, I have to get on now. I feel like I'm like the most random person in the world being on that train. So the fact I'm staying on the train so I'm not getting off, I feel like it's even weirder. So I'm trying to pretend like I'm going somewhere but I'm obviously not. But look, look how sweet these little houses are. Oh, I'm just talking for the sake of it because it's embarrassing I'm the only one on the train. Too nervous to do B roll. I'm gonna have to not do that. I'm the only person on this carriage. <laughs> this whole train is just. Maybe I can do like the YouTube, um, that clickbait. I'll be like, I came to Devon and raised that whole train. So I just thought I'd take a thumbnail. Look how nice those houses are over there. Oh my god, my face, I'm just like this, looking at them. I can talk, there's no one else on here. Look at me, I can just strut. Actually, I'm scared this camera is this one's gonna tell me off, but I don't like getting told off. I actually can't believe this is my life. I know what I'm doing is sitting on a train, but this just still seems so wild to me. This is one of those moments where I'm like, life is so good. It's so good. <laughs> Tears in my eyes, I was getting emotional. I was waving to people off the train. I thought, like, that's the only time that wavers ever wave to each other when you're on the train. And I was just like, this is just like, oh, it's making me my mouth. Why am I bubbling at the mouth? Oh, I just feel so happy right now. This is the ADHD, it's the high highs and the low lows. I just can't believe this is my life. I'm just sat on a steam train on a Thursday making videos that hopefully other people enjoy. Like, what the hell? Oh, I'm arriving back. No, it's ending. Oh, I've had such a good time though. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do now. I feel like I've had my fun, I can go home now. I was a bit stuck on where to go next on my grand tour. I'm a bit over being in, just in my own company. <laughs> Rory was like, why don't you just go to the pit? So I was like, okay, I'm currently walking to go to the pier. Maybe there'll be like a dance mat there so I can do that for a bit. I'm hungry as well and I don't know if I can brave lunch on my own. That's too far, you know. Anyway, this is the sea. And that's the pier. The painting pier, here we fucking go. 
feels too embarrassing getting my actual big camera out here, but we're in the zone. Kind of like walk through because actually this is the kind of place I'd end up spending so much money on like the 2P machine and the 10P machine and I just know I don't need to do that. I was going to do the dance on my own but then I just kind of thought actually is that a bit embarrassing? <laughs> very overstimulating I'm not sure why I came in here okay the pier has been done here I'm gonna go and get some donuts and go home and now we're back in the car right where we started well kind of not we started beforehand but anyway I thought I'd finish off this trip by giving you a quick haul of everything that I just bought because basically I had to cut a solo trip short because I was just gonna end up spending money that I don't actually have so I thought it's better just to you know cut my losses I've had fun on the train I've seen the pier now babe it's time to go home when I got off the train I went past a gift shop and there's nothing I like like memorabilia Rory would call it stuff I I call it memorabilia. Everywhere I go, I buy magnets put on the fridge. I always get one for my parents as well. I've never actually asked them if they want that, but they just get one. I got us both a little Dartmouth steam railway. Um, oh my God, this make, I can finally, oh, I can do that. Do you know how many years I've wanted to do that for? I got myself a little key ring. I love Devon. Yeah, babe. I, I went a bit balls to the wall, actually. I bought a I love Dartmouth steam railway mug. I just thought maybe I could make like a hobby out of getting shit mugs because I think every time I have my hot chocolate at home now I think about that nice time I had on the train. Then I thought oh shit I need to have lunch. So I got myself a soup and a bread roll. Then I saw Holland and Barrett. They're always dangerous for me. For some reason I'm drawn to them. Bought some more cacao nibs. I'm so annoyed that I love these in my smoothie because they're so expensive. Then I bought some dates. They've got fibre, fibre, iron and potassium. My breakfast has got pretty good shit in it because this has got good stuff as well. This has got stuff for energy, immunity and psychological functioning. Come on. I went to this baker shop and they didn't actually have anything that I like the look of, but I felt too rude walking in and walking out again, so I panicked. So I got myself a little cookie that looks like a squirrel. Oh, and then also, pointless purchase, I got this from... Holland and Barrett, a focus kombucha and adaptogen. Oh, I didn't really read that. I don't think I like kombucha. But I just read Blackberry, Elderberry and shit and I thought that was quite good. Hand. Anyway, that concludes the mega day out. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you've had a good time. I've loved having you along. I've always thought it was weird when people are like, we're going here, whatever, when they talk about people, like you guys are watching this. But actually, it does give you more confidence to do things because I kind of imagine that you're all like sitting there with me and like we're all doing this live together. So I do actually, you know, I'm starting to warm up the idea that people are allowed to say, you guys. I don't think that last sentence made any sense whatsoever, but whatever. I'm going to put my I Love Devon keyring on and then I'm going to go back and bore Rory with information about my day. Thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. If you have, I would love it if you would subscribe, maybe even like it if you're I don't know, feeling crazy, you want to support me. I just, I'm so unsure about this YouTube journey, whether you lot like like me in long form or not. I don't want to make all these long videos and you'd be like, Holly, we just like you in TikTok, like three minutes top, babe. Let me know if you like these. If you've made it this far, I don't know, well done. Okay, I'm going to go. I love you all very, very much. Hope you're having a very good day. <laughs>